you wish to accumulate $15,000 over 18 years using an account earning 5% per year compounded monthly. What monthly payment will do this? Well, to solve a question like this, we use what is known as the payment formula. And um, to, to find the payment form, formula, we solve the savings formula for D. So here, the payment formula would be what? D equals A times R over M on top, all over 1 plus R over M to the MT, not RT, to the MT minus 1. And here, all we need to do is make our substitution. So let's uh, do that. A equals 15,000. So here I'll just say equals 15,000 times what? The rate, 5%. Compounding periods, 12. All over. I guess I should make this bracket a little bigger. I didn't make it much bigger. All over 1 plus 0 0.05 over 12 to the M, which is 12, to the T, which is what? 18 years. 12 times 18 minus 1. Now, there are some calculators where you can just write in this entire quantity on your screen. Um, the uh, large like uh, what, TI-83, 89s I don't think do that very well. A calculator like this, um, which I use in a high school chemistry class, it's a smallish Casio. Um, this one's, I think, by far the best calculator for computing it like this, because you can get that entire expression on your screen. Um, but if you can't just put the entire expression on your screen, uh, that calculator was like $15 10 years ago, so it's probably about the same now. Um, but if you can't get that on your screen, I would say to solve this denominator first, then solve the numerator, then the divide them, then multiply by 15,000. But here, uh, what does this equal? This is approximately equal to 42 and 96 cents. So here, $50 a month in this account over 18 years will grow to 15 thousand dollars. Now let's look at another example. Let's look at a, a longer time period. Suppose you start, some of you may be doing this, suppose you start a 401k at age 23 and you contribute $50 at the end of each month. Suppose you found an account that earns 5% annually, compounded monthly. How much is in the account? When you turn 65. question, not percent. So let's read this question and figure out which formula applies. Suppose you start the 401k at 23, you contribute $50 at the end of each month. Suppose the account earns something. Suppose the account that earns, I should just say, suppose the account earns 5% annually, compound monthly. How much is in the account when you turn 65? Well, which formula would you use for something like this? The payment formula 
tells you what your uh, periodic payment should be. But we know what the periodic payment should be. What we're looking for is what happens across a time period. So here we would use the savings formula. We're looking for how much a savings has grown to. And that is, of course, this flipped around times D solved for A. So A equals uh, what's D? $50 times what? 1 plus the rate, 5%, divided by the compounding periods, which is 12. So raised to the 12 times T. What is T here? Well, you start at age 23. And you're do making these deposits until you turn 65. Well, 23 from 65 is 42. So t is 42, and it's already in years. Then we subtract 1, and then we divide by 0 0.05 over 12. And what does this equal? This is approximately equal to 85,567 and 43 cents. Um, now, these formulas, payment and uh, the savings formula, they are the same. It's just a matter of which variables you have, which you're solving for. Um, but they do take a little bit of getting used to. So try going through these problems. Um, and maybe I'll put this in a little context, this last one. Um, so $50 a month for 42 years, $85,000. Um, not a bad interest rate, I think. I, I, I would be surprised if you could find accounts like that that are that guaranteed. Um, although I'm not a finance guru. But it sounds, um, it sounds like a pretty high rate for right now. Um, but... $50 a month for 42 years, how much are you actually depositing? Um, so what's that, 600 a year times 42, so 24,000 about? A little more than 24,000? 25,2, is that the right number? Um, but all the interest allows this to grow pretty large. So that's not too bad. You're $50 a month, you're taking what feels like 24,000 and it's turning into 85. Not bad. 